CETA is a new trade agreement between the EU and Canada. It cuts tariffs and makes it easier to export goods and services, benefiting people and businesses in both the EU and Canada. CETA entered into force provisionally on September 21st, 2017, meaning most of the agreement now applies. National parliaments in EU countries, and in some cases regional ones too, will then need to approve CETA before it can take full effect. CETA took five years to negotiate and it is quite complicated. Far more complicated and time-consuming as some Brexiteers might believe. CETA removes Canadian customs duties and opens up the Canadian market to European food and drink products. It removes tariffs on EU food exports from day one on chocolate, bread, etc. And it removes or manages barriers to exporting drinks from day one. And CETA protects products such as beef, pork, sweet corn with limited tariff-free quotas. It protects poultry and eggs by not opening its market. Geographical indications promoting and protecting Europe's flagship food and drink products in countries outside the EU is a top priority for CETA as for any EU trade deal. CETA allows 143 European products with the status of geographical indications to be sold in Canada. That gives them a similar level of protection from imitations as EU law does already. Protected GIs, geographical indications, it guarantees access to Canada's large public procurement market. It creates new opportunities for EU suppliers to bid for provincial and municipal contracts. It encourages more investment between the EU and Canada in both directions. It improves the protection in Canada of intellectual property owned by EU individuals or companies. It sets out strong legally binding commitments on environmental protection and respect for labor rights. It helps EU small firms export small through reduced trade barriers, tariff elimination, simplified custom procedures, more compatible technical equipments. And it removes Canadian customs duties on key EU manufacturing exports from day one. For example, in trade and services. It opens up the Canadian market in the following industries. Financial services, postal and courier, telecommunications, transport professional services. And it provides a framework for the EU and Canada to recognize each other's qualification in certain regulated professions, like accountants, architects, engineers and lawyers. In recent public debates on trade agreements, several concerns have been raised by either members of the European Parliament and national and regional parliaments, some EU governments, and some trade unions, consumer bodies, environmental organizations and other civil society groups. These concerns cover key interests for the EU. CETA addresses and protects them, as does a legal document between the EU and Canada called the Joint Interpretive Instrument. Both sides are obliged to respect this document when they implement CETA. CETA has six essential safeguards. Sensitive economic sectors are protected. The EU's right to regulate is protected. Public services are protected. The EU's ability to set higher standards, such as for the environment or food safety, is guaranteed. The precautionary principle is upheld. Promoting trade in a way that upholds or raises environmental or labor standards is guaranteed. Investment was also part of the Commission's negotiation mandate. EU governments wanted the Commission to improve EU investors' access to the Canadian market and to negotiate rules to promote and protect EU investors. So CETA ensures protection for investments while enshrining government's right to regulate in the public interest, including when such regulations affect a foreign investment. The EU has replaced the old form of investor state dispute settlement in many existing trade agreements with the new, improved investment court system. Features of the new system will include professional independent judges bound by a strict code of conduct, hearings held in public and published documents relating to cases, clearly specified grounds on which an investor can challenge a state. The EU and Canada will continue to work together to develop the ICS in line with the commitments they made in the joint interpretive instrument and the agreement itself. Public services precautionary principle for sensitive products such as poultry and eggs, CETA doesn't open up either side's market. For beef, pork and sweet corn, the EU has offered limited tariff-free quotas. EU governments fully retain the right to keep public services public and decide for themselves, for example, how they want healthcare or education delivered. EU law protects EU governments' right to act 
to protect human, animal or plant health or the environment in the face of a perceived risk even when scientific analysis is not conclusive. EU law, which EU trade agreements must respect, enshrines this principle. CETA also refers to the right to regulate and to the principle underlying the regulatory regime of each party and of course the right to regulate future standards. There will not be a race to the bottom. CETA safeguards the EU's right to apply our own standards to all goods and services sold in Europe. All imports from Canada have to meet EU rules on technical standards, consumer safety, environmental protection, animal and plant health and food safety and GMOs. And our lawmakers will continue to make such rules. CETA allows us to set higher standards and levels of protection for product and food safety, labor or the environment if we want to. The deal explicitly protects EU government's right to regulate in these and other areas. The Trade and Sustainable Development chapter includes those safeguards. CETA prevents the risk of a race to the bottom in environmental or labor standards. It prevents governments from allowing exceptions to or not enforcing their domestic laws as a way to encourage trade and investment. In fact, CETA promotes practices such as corporate social responsibility and transparency in business. CETA is a progressive trade agreement. It has some of the strongest commitments ever included in a trade deal to promote labor rights, environmental protection and sustainable development. CETA integrates the EU's and Canada's commitments to apply international rules on workers' rights, environmental protection and climate action. And these obligations are binding with the same legal value as any other provision. Let it be labor rights, forests, fisheries, aquaculture, cooperation on sustainable development. CETA commits the EU and Canada to ratifying and effectively implementing the fundamental conventions of the International Labour Organization. CETA includes commitments on the sustainable management of forests, fisheries and aquaculture. In CETA, the EU and Canada also pledge to cooperate on trade-related environmental and labour right issues, effectively implement all ratified multilateral environmental agreements, which would now include the Paris Climate Accord. The EU and Canada also have agreed to promote initiatives focused on corporate social responsibility and accountability, eco-labeling, fair trade, energy efficiency and the use of climate-friendly technologies, recycling and environment-friendly goods and services. In CETA, both sides also agree that more trade and investment should not be at the expense of environmental protection and labor rights. On the contrary, the EU and Canada are committed to ensuring that CETA helps ensure that economic growth, social development and environmental protection go hand in hand. CETA gives a strong role to EU and Canadian civil society groups in implementing the commitments made in the agreement. These commitments are enforceable with a fully transparent mandatory time-bound procedure for resolving concerns that involves either governments or an independent panel of experts, the civil society, the International Labour Organization, who knows? And the agreement includes an open review clause. This allows both sides to examine how effectively they are putting their pledges into practice and to revisit the way they enforce their implementation if need be. Of course, in the beginning I had my issues myself during the negotiations when in a negotiation where you always hear something, only parts and stuff like that, you have your issues and some parts of the EU still have small issues in some places. But in the end, if we come together completely, this is good for the EU and Canada. But you also have seen how complex it is. First of all, the whole agreement, how many parts are covered there and perhaps now more people will understand why it is impossible to copy and paste such a thing for another country. This hasn't taken that long for nothing. But if you now want to know more about European politics from a German point of view, I put my next video right here in the end screen. By the way, next to your chance to subscribe to my channel. I'm on my way to my first thousand subscribers, so I wouldn't mind, of course. But first of all, I hope you click and enjoy my next video. I'll see you there. Viel Spaß!